Hi guys, welcome to another Waterponics video. My name is Rondell Lynch and this is part 3 of what's wrong with my aquaponics system. So, stay tuned. talk about how we're going to address the issues outlined in part 2 if you haven't seen part 1 and part 2 was yet go ahead and check that out so how we're going to address these issues let's start up here first of all this filter has to go it works okay however it goes out here comes out there and it goes along the side all the way down into the sump and then the sump pumps back the water back up into those grow beds these grow beds and the fish tank what I want to do is convert this into a more should I say traditional deep water culture setup Usually in deep water culture systems, when the water leaves the, the um, biofilters, which is usually the last, last filtration, you move the large solids with mechanical filters like a swirl filter, or a radio flow filter, a baffled filter, or a baffled clarifier. You use some kind of mechanical filtration first, then you put it into the biofiltration, and then you send it into the the grow beds. The mechanical filtration removes all the larger solids and then the biofiltration is a place where the bacteria live. And I guess they remove some biofiltration removes some finer solids as well. Many large aquaponics commercial systems use different types of biofiltration, open cell media, um, K1 media, K2 or K3 media. Something that has high bacteria surface air. Some even use hydrogen media based grow beds. So, back to this. So, what I want to do now is take the water from a filter like this and bring it in directly to these tree beds. And I'm going to do that to address the issues of not having the water properly filtered before it enters the grow beds. So the first step is to replace this. I'm going to replace this with a, a larger filter, a tub shaped similar to this, but larger. It's going to come up a little higher, and then it's going to exit into beds one, two, and three. So it's going to leave here, going to there, into the tub here, and then enter beds one, two, and three. So that would should take care of filtering the water adequately before it enters the bed so it's a it's a different construction than this filter so after that what I'm going to do next is I am going to put some outlets on the sides of these grow beds and that's the reason why this line is here so we're going to have some two inch outlets I'm going to bring them up about this height here here and here and those are going to be the new outlets for all three of these grow beds and they're not just going to be outlets they're they're almost going to be overflows and the reason being it's a floating raft bed they have to keep they have to keep the water level high for the plants to grow they have to keep the water level high so the rafts can float on top of the water so they're not just going to be outlets they're going to be mini solids lifting overflows so if you don't know what a solids lifting overflow is go ahead and check out my aquaponics system tour uh, my aquaponics maintenance video where i took out this solids lifting overflow cleaner so it's basically a pipe that runs down to the bottom i don't know if you can see it there at the bottom yeah there you can see it right there it goes right along there and that pulls off the solids of the bottom of the tank. If I 
Check off the water for my fish tank. You can see how well it works. And you can see how clean the water is down the bottom of there. No large solids like what you saw in part two of this series inside of that grove right there to your left. No large solids like that. So you see, we have this nice and clean down there. You can see the bottom. You see that huge fish down there. And you can actually see the pipe. Some agitation over there from the airstone, so you can't see as well. But it's nice and clean down there. So solids lifting overflows work. For lifting solids, <laughs> well, as the name would suggest. So we're going to build a mini set of those to lift the solids out of these grow beds if any do get in after the filtration and those are going to put them back into the sump to be pumped back up to be refiltered again and as, as time goes on the plan is that those, soli those solids and suspended particles will be well the majority of them will be removed and they won't be a bother to the plant roots especially for the the plants that have some fibrous roots, the plants that they arugula and stuff. Now in addition to that, we're also going to add a four inch pipe coming along coming along along where you see this nylon this nylon line here, which is supposed to be level. And so they're gonna exit here with an elbow, come down into a four inch pipe that's gonna go straight down there and back into the sump tank. Reason being, I want to do my first NFT concept again. <laughs> it didn't work over that side, so hopefully it'll work over this side. <laughs> um, so we're going to increase the pipe size to 4 inch, not like 2 inch that we did in the first one. <sighs> right, so you're going to use 4 inch and we're going to drill some holes in those and we're going to use some the same neck pots, neck cups which we do sell out here at Waterponics one cost a dollar so send us a message on Facebook or Instagram right so that's what we're going to do so bigger outlets so let's start here bigger better filter feeding one two three beds these first three beds then we're going to have bigger outlets into a four inch pipe which has which is an NFT system all right and we'll see how that works I know I know the flow rate might people might be saying oh the flow rate's not going to write for NFT and stuff and stuff but yes I know this but I'm going to try it out the water's going to come out here a little fast so you'll see how it goes with the plants and the plan is that I'm going to plant some beneficial um, plants along here. These plants such as basil and marigolds I'm going to plant here and those are supposed to be really good at resisting pests um, especially when planted along other, next to other plants. I think we call that, comp we call that process companion planting. Right, so you're probably asking yourself, so what about that? Those two beds over there. Aha. Uh -huh. Now that is a surprise, and I don't want to tell you anything about it yet until I decide if I'm going to do it or not. I don't even want to drop any hints, but I I I I'm gonna do some videos on those separately really soon, right after I finish working on these changes all right so those are the changes that i'm going to make and i'm going to take you every step of the way with me as i make those changes we're going to have some fun and along the way i'm going to try my best to talk about some of the products that i use and some of the products that which will be products that we sell at waterponics uh, particularly uniseals and how to use them correctly and how to install them so stay tuned for that and that's coming very soon because I'm going to start working on these changes ASAP. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. This is part 3. 
So go ahead and check out part one and two if you didn't see it already. And remember to go ahead and like our Facebook page. You're gonna see these kinds of updates really soon. Uh, way before they get on YouTube, um, Facebook and Instagram. All right, so remember, let's grow together. I'm Ron Dillon from Water Connection. Have a good day. Thank mm -hmm. you.